got a new week in the festival playlist. So I'm back for the new weekly Forza Tone challenges and also to show you the best cars to use for a championship. It's spring, so expect a lot of water on the road. So let's have a look. I did everything now. Uh, I was a day delayed, but that's okay. So let's have a look at the Forzaton first and the Forzaton shop. As you can see, there are two new cars, but since uh, the auction is messed up, there is nothing rare, so nothing important. We have two heads, as you can see, and then, of course, the super wheel spin and the normal wheel spin. Now, let's have a look at the Forzaton. So we need the 2016 Lotus 311. We need to do a total of nine stars on the speed zone. We need to have 15 ultimate near miss skills, and then we have to do a slingshot skill. So let's have a look at the speed zone that I use for this. That's basically this one at the Moorhead Wind Farm. You just drive a few times up and down, and then you will have the for first Forzaton. Uh, the second Forzaton. Now, the third Forzaton, where you need the uh, ultimate near misses. That's this one. My game is very laggy since I don't know when, but it's very annoying lately. So, the ultimate near miss kills, what you need to do is just go on the highway, go on the opposite side, and just drive fast next to them and you will get the ultimates there you go there are already a few that i got so just drive in the opposite sides of the roads and then you will have that one now for the last one you need to do a slingshot that means you need to draft behind um, a car and then you just need to pass them now what did I do? You can just do that, for example, on a drag strip or in any race, or you can just leave it. Uh, but you cannot do it with traffic cars. So you have the, the best and easiest option is to do it on the drag strip, one of the drag strips. Just drive behind it, behind the car, and then just pass them. So this was a very easy Forzaton. Now let's have a look at the championships now for the trail what do we need for the trail let's have a look at the map because it always asks for i'll put this one also off there you go so here we have a trail now classic racer s900 so what did i do i went i'll go quickly to the festival i'll show you now you know i always look for a sheep car a non-car pass car and well, I used to look for a non-rare car, but that's out of the blue now. Now let's have a look. Classic racers. So what I do is I sort on value. And as you can see, here you have a few sheep cars. And then they start from a million, two million, five million, ten million. Now what did I do? I took the cheapest car. I tuned it. And I was very surprised about the car, that it actually drives really good. Now, you need to do the, um, the Goliath. But you don't need to worry, this car doesn't have the highest top speeds, but it's very grippy, good in cornering. Now, you do need to go off throttle. When you take corners, that will be easier to do, but it's normal that you basically go off throttle a little bit. But this is the car that I used. It's actually a very good car. I was really surprised. It's also the cheapest one that you actually can get in the auto show. So yeah, I was pretty uh, amazed by this car. Now the car that we went from this one, let's have a look. This is the 2000. 18 Porsche 718 Cayman GTS. I'll have to look into this car if it's also a good car or not to tune. There you go. 
This is the card that we win from the trail. Now let's have a look at the next one. Now here showcase remix. That's with uh, the Scotchman. Scotsman, you get uh, uh, what was that? I think the the Macan Porsche uh, Macan you get. It's not tuned, but it's also well. You will win or you will not win. It's not always that easy. Now here at playgrounds, what did I use for playgrounds? It's at Mud Kickers. Um, the car that I use for that is actually, I was surprised about the acceleration and everything about this car. Now I knew the car was not bad, but um, I used the F-Type Project 7 Jaguar. It doesn't flip, it's very stable, it's very fast, so I used that one and I was pretty happy with that car. Now the car that we win... Um, uh, it's not necessary to show. It's uh, it's already an old car in the game. Uh, the Renault. The Renault Clio Forza Edition. We win. Okay, let's have a look at the other one. Um, here at the Spring Community. Well, I have no idea what's going on, but they really need to fix the Dravatars. I've been pushed out like crazy while the Dravatas wasn't even very close to me. Uh, I don't know who made or who decided to put the second blueprint in this community race, but that is by far the worst blueprint I ever seen in eight months in this game. It was really bad. I really don't understand why the devs put that in, but okay. We did it and let's get over it. Now we need Retro Rally B700. Now, of course, I use my Lancia for that. Now in the second race of the Blueprint, um, you basically drive in first and second gear. Um, I was so happy I was done with that. Let's have a look. Where is my Lancia? This is the car that I used, the Lancia 037 Stradale. Now, what do we win from that? We win the Honda Prelude. Where are you, Honda? I can't seem to find my cars today. Honda, Honda. Oh, there you go. And then you have the Prelude, this one. So this is a car that you win from the Community Championship. Now, let's go to the next one. Here we have Lotus Flower. We need a Lotus, an S900. The car that I use for that, it's always a car that you can buy in the auto show. Is actually this nice Lotus. I had no problem winning it. Uh, where did you go, my Lotus? I made it blue. I don't see it anymore. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, it was not of my favorites. So the 2002 Lotus Esprit V8 I used for that. Also, I had no problems winning that championship with this car. Now, the car that we win for that is this one, the Lotus 211. Now, let's have a look at the next one. I made a mistake. You do not win the Porsche 718 GTS you win that here so the trail I'll show you the car from the trail later on here you need an S900 and you need a Cayman the Cayman I used is the GT4 version also a pretty good car good acceleration and everything so this is the one I used for see you later alligator now, the car that you win from this is actually the 2018. Where are my cars now? It seems that my garage is a little bit messed up for some reason. Anybody see my 718 GTS somewhere? Oh yeah, I'm driving in it. Well, that's a car, of course, that always happens to me. I'm looking for my car while I'm sitting in it. 
Now, from the trail, you win the Porsche 917. So that was a little mistake that I made. Um, you do not win that car in a trail. You win it in the CU Alligator. Now here at 50 and 80%, you win the Quas Regalia. 80% Porsche 550. Also no new cars. And then here you have the Hollywood Park Circuit. That's my testing track. But that's just once a month and then you need to do online adventure and then you will get everything on 100%. Now look, let's look at the PR stunts. And of course it's dark now. That's That always happens when I um, want to make a picture for my YouTube video. It goes dark and then I just need to sit and wait till I get some sun. Oh man, it's really dark. Okay, let's have a look. So let's go to this one. This is very easy. As you can see, I always use my muzzler. I think it's the most uh, easiest car to do all those PR stunts. I just put it in third gear. Now you just need to watch out for the trees. So I go a little bit to the left. And I press my brake. Well, I press my brake when I land. But this is how you can get it. You just need to watch out. Just jump a little bit to the left here. So you don't uh, hit all those trees. And of course, when I make my video, I always fail to do one of the PR stunts. But, well, I guess that's the funny thing. Now here, we need to do a speed zone. I also use my muzzler. There you go. Now, if you don't have traction on and stuff like that, the muzzle is not that easy to handle here on the dirt and the rain, but the car is fast. So you can get it with the acceleration of the car. And I thought you could cut off this part and then you will have it you can actually use both sides but it's a little bit easier when it's a little bit more dry but you can always use another car so that's no problem now here you can start also from this direction or this direction i just started from this one And since the Mosler is such a nice car, an accelerating car, you can easily get it if you do not hit traffic. No traffic? Oh, that was close. Well, there was traffic, but I had luck this time. Okay, that's it. Um... That are all the cars I used for the tra uh, for the championships. Um, I had no problems winning it. Just this community race is that second race is absolutely a disaster. I still don't understand what. And also they need to fix the avatars in the community race championships because they are really bad. They really need to fix that. Okay, that's it. Uh, the trail will be fun because you need to do the Goliath. So if you win the first two races, it will be, you don't need to bother about uh, Goliath. So that's just a heads up. Um, well, that's it. I'll be streaming on Saturday on YouTube, Forza. And during the week, you can find me on Twitch streaming like The Division 2, maybe GTA 5 and other games. I'm still looking for other games to play also. So it would be nice if you come during the week to my Twitch to support me a little bit. That would be much appreciated. Okay, guys and girls, thanks for watching. I hope my video helped and have a nice weekend. And we will see you on Saturday on the live stream. Bye-bye.